You are going to love this story. Grammy winner Dionne Warwick and her son are here in the mountains to launch their newest venture, Hits the Musical. The show takes audiences on a musical tour through 80 medleys. News 13's Samir Nafsi sat down with the legend herself to discuss working with her son to inspire the show's youth. What do you get when you bring Grammy legend Dionne Warwick as well as her son Damon Elliott together? Well, that's simple, a hit musical. The dynamic duo are here in Asheville to launch their star-studded show with young talent, two of whom are from North Carolina. Ooh. Asheville audiences are the first to experience the premiere of Hits the Musical. Hits will take you from the 60s up to and through 2023. R&B legend Dionne Warwick, whose career spans 60 years, is embarking on this adventure with her son, Damon Elliott. You know, the only difference is, as opposed to calling her and saying, you know, calling her name or Miss Warwick, I say, Mommy, this is what we got. It's just uh, another adventure. Their newest project is heading to 50 U.S. cities, featuring music sure to be a foot-tapping experience for all. We're endorsing this show. It's amazing. Helping to bring the show to life, performers from 10 years old to 22. This is these babies' first opportunity to really showcase their talent for an audience. While the talent comes from across the country, the Tar Heel State is proudly represented by this 19-year-old High Point native. Out of all the places that this tour could have started. They chose Asheville, so I'm just super proud. And 20-year-old Madeline Underwood of Jamestown. A lot to take in. Yeah, it's really exciting. It's, it's nice to be able to kick off my first live tour where I'm from. Both call it a dream come true to work with the iconic Warwick and her son. I, <laughs> I was starstruck, um, but she's such a sweet woman and so is her son Damon. So uh, what's it like to work alongside six-time Grammy winner Warwick? She's very honest. If you want to know the truth, come ask mom. Ask me. Yeah. In fact, I was able to experience that honesty for myself. Okay, one, two, three. Let's three, do. two. Jokes aside, both are excited to see the curtain raised for Hits the Musical. I'm just going to enjoy the show. I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now check this out. You have another opportunity to check out Hits the Musical this Saturday. For ticket information, you can head on over to WLOS.com. And News 13 gets the warrants in a murder authorities say happened just hours into the new year. A local man and his mother are facing charges in the death of Julia Holland. News 13's Rex Hodge has more on the recently unsealed warrants. Investigators are seeking a DNA sample from Noah Bolden to further investigate whether he committed any sexual acts against Julia Holland at the time of her death. That's one piece of information contained in recently unsealed search warrants. Noah Bolden faces first degree murder in the killing of 49 year old Julia Holland of Candler and an Uber driver out of Buncombe County. It happened just as the new year began. The court record shows a search took place at Noah Bolden's home on McCracken Road near Canton, and the body of Julia Holland was located. A subsequent autopsy showed that she was killed by a single bullet to the back of her head. Court documents reveal Bolden had been at a strip club in Asheville New Year's Eve and had contacted Holland for a ride home in the early morning hours of January 1st. Warrants indicate there is probable cause to collect a DNA sample from Bolden, concluding a probable motive for the murder of Ms. Holland by Mr. Bolden may have been sexual assault. Further evidence of sexual assault may support additional felony sex charges. Noah Bolden is in custody with no bond. His mother, Pamela Jean Bolden, held on a million dollar bond charged with accessory after the fact of first degree murder. Her indictment says, with knowledge of her son's actions against Holland, she tried to assist her son in attempting to escape arrest by disposing of the purported murder weapon, a gun, or other evidence related to this crime. Court papers show Jean Bolden has made attempts to make bond. The state, concerned if she does, she will return to the location of the secreted firearm and will further engage in the destruction of evidence. The case continues to unfold difficult for Holland's family to understand, as her adopted sister told us last month. Work at nursing homes. She was a really good person. She would help anybody. She would literally give her shirt off her back for anybody. According to court documents, both Noah Bolden and his mother have a next court appearance scheduled for March 13th. 
Nearly 80% of North Carolina hospitals have staffing shortages, and that number highlights the need for more health care workers across the state. News 13's Andrew James reports on a new partnership between Party UNC Healthcare and Blue Ridge Community College to address the workforce needs. We know the healthcare industry has felt the impacts of staffing challenges in recent years. This new partnership is one way to secure more workers in this important field. We're going to go right here to room two. Terry Jefferson now works as a certified medical assistant at Pardee UNC Healthcare in Henderson County. She was one of the first participants in the new Pathway to Employment Partnership between Pardee and Blue Ridge Community College. It led to me maybe wanting to pursue more nursing, so um, I have the bug. You're going to get your way. A stepping stone in her career, the eight-week program leads to the Certified Clinical Medical Assistant credential and the possibility of full-time employment at Pardee. It also serves as a new pipeline to fill needed health care roles in Western North Carolina. I think the program will help with that because you're getting hands on experience, not only just in the classroom, but then you're actually going into the clinics where you're seeing where the help is needed. This is a great opportunity for students to explore health care careers. Blue Ridge Community College's Dean of Health Sciences tells me this new program is a win win for the hospital and the college as they work to meet this community need head on. And we'll let the doctor know that you're ready for your visit, okay? okay great. We recognize a significant need to address health care um, in the entry level for our clinics and urgent cares, for example, of where these folks work to greet patients as they come in, deliver the initial screening, and help provide any assistance to health care providers in the clinic. So I hope that plenty of people hear about the program and take the chance and do it. And if you'd like more information about enrolling in this new partnership between Blue Ridge and Pardee, we'll have that included in this story at WLOS.com.